Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com and we are fulfilling another request from our users at our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash GoodyReader, which is how big is the Icarus 8's screen? So here's the Icarus 8 on uh, an ebook, just on its own. Unfortunately, it's not touchscreen, so you can't uh, maneuver it like that. So this is how big it looks. And what we're going to do is bring in one of our favorites the Kindle Paperwhite 2. There we go. Makes it look like a... Makes the 8 look like a monster, huh? Look how big that is. So this is a 6-inch screen, and this is an 8-inch screen. So you can really tell now how big the Icarus 8's screen really is. The Kindle Paperwhite, just to give you um, a little bit about what these devices are, if you've never used them before, these are e-readers. They don't display LCD or LED they don't have an LED or LCD panel displaying colors. They're simply just for books, black and white, uh, PDFs, textbooks, all that kind of stuff. The Icarus 8 is not touchscreen, as we've said before. Unfortunately, there's no long presses, there's no page turns, there's no pinch and zooms, nothing like that. With the Kindle, you do get full functionality over that kind of thing. You get, you know, countless features, translation, Wikipedia, search, social media share, all that kind of good stuff. Fortunately, you will have to go word by word in the Icarus to really get anywhere, and it's kind of hard to find the cursor when you're navigating around, so not the greatest for making highlights, notes, PDFs, all that kind of stuff. Use this strictly as a book. Look how much you can display on one page, though. That is quite a bit of text compared to the Kindle. And yes, I know our Kindle, uh, we haven't optimized the text very well. But even if you go small, obviously, due to the screen real estate, you will not ever be able to show as much as the Icarus 8. This is because it's an 8-inch screen. It's actually almost as wide as the Kindle is long. So this is just to show you how big the Icarus 8 screen really is. It's not a heavy device. It's not very heavy at all. It's actually very light. This is because they've actually cut down a lot of the weight from not having a touch panel, not having a lot of things on it. However, they do still have a 3.5 mil headphone jack at the bottom here and SD card support for up to 32 gigabytes. So it has its it has its advantages. The Kindle has no audio whatsoever and it actually doesn't have expandable memory. You're stuck with about 1.2 to 1.3 gigs of space after all said and done. Whereas the Icarus has significantly more space to store all your MP3s, your songs, your audiobooks, text to speech feature. There's lots going on for the Icarus 8 and it's got a huge screen and it's actually, like we said, very light because there's no capacitive touch panel. So I hope this clears it up, everyone. Keep, the, keep those requests coming. We really do love them. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what we should film next or any pairings you guys want to see, go head to head. Um, we're getting into drop tests very soon. So we're going to be actually dropping our Kindle Paperwhite 2 on solid concrete to see what happens because um, we know that a lot of people drop tablets but no one really drops e-readers so you know who better than goody reader to destroy some of their inventory so please go to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash goody reader or you can go to our website at goodyreader.com and check out all the latest news, reviews, previews, interviews, and event coverage and everything to do with e-readers, tablets, and digital publishing. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter fulfilling another request from you guys.